Love often revolves around romance and flowers in movies, but in real life, it doesn't end there. Relationships take time to bloom, and it always takes two to tango. Wondering which stage you and your partner are in? Here are the six stages of a relationship. One, euphoria. Euphoria. Have you ever liked someone's traits only to be annoyed by them in the long run? In the first stage, also known as the honeymoon phase, things are always exciting and memorable. Lucy Brown, a clinical professor in neurology, has been studying the brain activity of people in love. She discovered that in this early stage, when we fall in love with someone, we tend to forgive their faults easily. This is called the suspension of negative judgment, where our brains overlook people's flaws. Just when you think your partner is perfect, your judgment will get better over time, testing your true compatibility. Two, the wake-up call. This is when things get a little feisty. Reality begins to set in, and you start to see your partner for who they really are. Couples who get married too soon and divorce never get past this stage. This is where your differences tear you more apart instead of bringing you two closer together. While one of you might be craving for space, the other might want to do the chasing. Three, the big test. This is the stage that requires the most work. Couples either make it or break it, depending on how they work out their problems. In order for their relationship to grow and prosper, they must reach a compromise and learn to communicate effectively. It also helps to do new things together. Dr. Arthur Aaron found that partners who frequently shared new experiences experienced more satisfaction in their relationship than those who only shared good but familiar experiences. Four, stability. Congratulations! Once you've reached this stage, it means you and your partner know how to work through your differences. Both of you win, and it's refreshing. You no longer try to control nor change one another, but accept each other despite your differences. Your boundaries are respected and the both of you feel comfortable. Five, commitment. In this stage, you recognize that you don't need your partner, but rather you're choosing to be with them. This is a healthy conclusion to reach and you should be proud that you made it there. Dr. Steven Stosny highlights the importance for commitment and privacy to coexist. People who value their privacy, such as introverts, may view connection as a threat to their required alone time. To maintain a balance between the two, talk to your partner about how many people are allowed in your household and ways to regulate your closeness. Six, deep attachment. In this final stage, you and your partner work outside your relationship and begin to integrate it with the world. You might decide to work on a project together to make a difference, whether that means starting a business or working with charities. Contrary to the first stage where the passion is intense, Professor Elaine Hatfield suggests that longer-term relationships focus more on developing a strong companionship. When you and your partner reach deep attachment, you allow your union to flourish in social activities, whether it's humanitarian or hobby-based. Although these stages are all labeled in a linear fashion, that does not mean that you and your partner will experience them the same. Some couples may revisit stages for more growth. The point of illustrating these stages is so that we can help you and your partner reach ultimate love together. We wish you guys the best of luck. Which stage are you and your partner in? What are some challenges you're going through? Is your partner imaginary? Please share your thoughts with us below. Don't forget to subscribe for more helpful videos and tips. Thanks for watching!